Hi everyone, welcome uh, to this episode that will introduce the lesson about the introduction to singularity and obtainer. You will hear about why uh, containers are using in high energy physics, what's the container technology and uh, why the specific obtainer singularity software has been uh, adopted. Containers are packages of software that encapsulates a system environment. An operating system level virtualization is delivered in a container and any program running on it will use the contextualization isolated inside the container. They have the advantage that you can build a container on any system, your laptop for example, and then execute it anywhere as far as the platform compatible with the container is available. In other words, the containers are a way to distribute uh, software. Instead of installing just the application on a system, you bring the whole context that's with the application so that's easier to uh, port and uh, reproduce it in the exact same way anywhere. You will be able to find uh, more uh, explanations about the container just by googling it. Any uh, major company will have a lot of information like for example you can find on Google, on IBM and also on Docker. Docker is the company that uh, launched the technology uh, of the containers about 10 years ago. And uh, you will find on this site the definition of the containers that as you can see are seen as a, a package application that you can run on top of the uh, container software, in this case Docker, and you will find also a nice comparison between the uh, containers and the virtual machines. So the virtual machines uh, that are running on a hypervisor are also a way to bring together the software and the whole context, but it's much uh, harder and heavy to run for a computer because it's bringing also the whole uh, framework of the operating system, all the internal. So the virtual machine is simulating the hardware or at least the whole operating system inside the VM, while the containers are more lightweight because the host operating system is the same as there and only the parts that are different are defined inside into the context of the container. So why these containers are used in high energy physics? It is because concepts as reprodu reproducibility, preservation, distribution are important in the HP community and the containers provide a solution totally compatible with such concepts. The version of some specific software used to perform an analysis can be preserved in a container with exactly the same environment used at that time. A legacy software with binaries only available for an outdated OS can be executed inside a container. This allows the execution without compromising the whole machine uh, with the legacy operating system. All the necessary packages to process data can be easily distributed in containers independently of the operating system available on the sides. And uh, we saw already how this container technology is uh, similar to the virtual machine, but being more lightweight and portable, it's easier to execute around. Why we chose this specific uh, software to run the container, obtainer or singularity? There are many software available that work with container. For example, Docker that we saw uh, before in the web page. It's the company that started this technology and is one of the most popular platform. However, uh, the enterprise-based container framework were motivated to provide microservices, a solution that fits well in the models of the industry where system administrators with root privilege install and run application, each in its own container. This is not so compatible with the workflow in the high performance computing and uh, in the high throughput computing, in which usually complex applications run exhaustively using all the available resources and without any special privilege. 
Obtainer Singularity is a, a container platform created for the HPC and HTC use case. It allows to build and run containers with just a few steps in most of the cases. And it is designed and its design presents key concepts for the uh, scientific community. It's a single file based container images which are facilitating the distribution, archiving and sharing. Has the ability to run and in a modern system also to be installed without any root, daemon or set UID privileges. This makes it safer for larger computer centers with shared resources. It preserves the permission in the environment. The user outside the container can be the same user inside the container. Simple integration with uh, resource managers and distributed computing frameworks are possible because it runs as a regular application. So Obtainer doesn't require some system installation. It can run as a normal application that a user will run and Inside Obtainer, then you can run the uh, containers with the software. So uh, before going further, a brief introduction about what a container or an image is. So what you will hear uh, further in the lessons is that you will be um, creating the software that you are prepared to run. So in uh, Singularity or Obtainer, what you will be doing, you can have an interactive development environment where you can try uh, and uh, run the software and prepare and do experiments. In the next part, then you uh, build the software and you package it for distribution and you have different options to do that. What you build here is a, a image, which is kind of a template of what you will then running on the nodes where you are actually uh, running the container. So the container is an instance that's created out of the uh, template uh, from that's the image. Uh, here in Circle CI, you have a nice uh, blog explanation where they show you how these templates then it will be instantiated in multiple uh, containers. For example, if you create an image with a specific Python distribution, with libraries that you use for uh, your analysis, then you can have multiple containers running where you run uh, different analysis using those uh, libraries. So, uh, so far you heard the name uh, Obtainer and uh, Singularity. So this is uh, originally was the same uh, software back uh, the, when the project started in 2015. And Obtainer and Singularity are all fork of this initial uh, software. In this lesson, you will see the name uh, Obtainer or Obtainer slash Singularity, but uh, uh, the command used is a Singularity. Probably, if you have been using it, you are more familiar with Singularity because that was the original name of uh, the software and the command. And uh, as stated in uh, this move and renaming announcement, uh, Singularity is Obtainer. Currently, there are three products derived from the original uh, Singularity project from 2015. Singularity, a commercial software uh, by C-Labs. Singularity Community Edition, an open source Singularity version supported by uh, C-Labs and Obtainer, open source Singularity recently uh, renamed and hosted by the Linux Foundation. As of fall uh, 2022, all three uh, Obtainer Singularity versions are compatible and practically the same, but have different uh, roadmaps, so this might not remain in the future. There is the hope that in the future anyway they will join forces uh, but uh, uh, there is no certainty about that. So to understand better how these uh, three different forks of the same software came to be you can look at the uh, Wikipedia uh, article that's uh, linked here that will explain you a little bit of the history and uh, what are the differences, how all this uh, came to be. 
for uh, the remainder of this course what's important is that uh, you be able to use the singularity or obtainer command interchangeably so whether your system has one or the other it's okay uh, the we are using singularity because even when you install obtainer the singularity alias is defined so it's uh, easier for compatibility to keep using this name and uh, you have the possibility to define some environment variable with the prefix singularity underscore or singularity env underscore which in obtainer are similarly named obtainer underscore or obtainer n underscore but uh, uh, as a, since obtainer wants to maintain full compatibility with the previous version it will keep looking the singularity variable as well so f until we are sure that all the installation around are um, migrated to obtainer we'll keep using the singularity name and the singularity and singularity env prefixes for the environment you can find uh, finally you can find uh, um, uh, detailed documentation of these uh, uh, softwares in the user manual of uh, uh, obtainer so the user guides has a complete description of uh, um, all the configuration and all the options that you can do and this course is uh, largely based on that thank you for listening and uh, um, as a summary here are a couple of key points to keep in mind from this class obtainer and singularity is a container platform designed uh, for scientists this is the execution on HPC and HTC resources. It's single file based, so the images are easy to share and distribute. It's uh, secure because it's run as a regular application and the user inside the container is the same as the user outside of the container.